speak these words after me, Sister Minnie. I take you, Dollar Bill. I take you, Dollar Bill. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. And in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To love. Cherish and obey. Cherish and obey. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I plight thee my troth. And thereto I plight thee my troth. The ring, please. Inasmuch as you two have come before me to be joined in the holy state of matrimony, I now pronounce you man and wife. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. My <laughs> Nothing to do with loving. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. In defense of my own reputation as a carbon man, I feel that I can say in the past I have exhibited perfect technique and attained satisfactory results in this distinguished profession. I just can't help laughing to myself when I think of all the strange people who go to make it up. Like man, hat. What a place. You really love Harlem, don't you, Harlem? Yes, there's so much to be done here. It's fairly screaming for leadership. And I let you lead the chemist, Mr. Bob Anthony. And I let you lead a man's inspiration, too. Looking into the future, I just can't see any happiness without you. How dare you even think about it? That's me, think for me. Oh, I couldn't be unfaithful to you if I wanted to be. If I did make a pass at another girl, just when my line was going good, I'd be certain to call her too. I'd like to see you go into town with some other girl. Oh, it's no use. They'll never believe me. I'm a marked man. Everything I do and everything I say is so wrapped up in you, I'd be licked before I started. You don't mean to tell me you love me, Mr. Anthony. I don't mean to tell you anything else. I'm going to hold you to it, Mr. Forever. What's worrying you, baby? Oh, it's nothing you can do anything about. How do you know? You never tried. Oh, it's too involved. What's too involved? Come, speak up. Oh, Mr. Kennedy. I'm not letting anything spoil our happiness. You can't start keeping secrets from me now. You're worried about your mother's marriage now, aren't you? Yes. And Bob was so in love with him, I even think she would turn against me if she saw he would make him happy. We are going right in there now, and I'm going to tell her we ought to get married. But Bob... Please be careful how you speak to him. He's a hoodlum and hates you. Oh, yeah? Oh, please, Dollar, don't. He was excited. He didn't know what he was saying. I promise I'll never even speak to him 
think that if you let him go. You can be a mighty brave guy when you're holding the zippers, doll. Yes, and I'm planning to let you have a load of the zippers, too. Please, for my sake. Is it only up and up you let that guy go? Please, I mean... All right. Get out before I change my mind. I had to do something, Bob. He was going to kill you. You did something, all right. You put the okay on his dirt. But I couldn't let him shoot you, Bob. Sue. Sue, honey. Cocktail? 
Just like you like them, girl. Hungry? No, but I can't wait to eat. I've got to get home. Get home? That's all I ever hear. Aren't we going to be alone anymore? Oh, look at Dollar. I don't like this three the crowd assignment any more than you do. But Kai and Sister, I tag along. Oh, I'm not talking to you, Jean. You know I'm crazy about the kids. And it burns me up when we separated so long. Well, at least I can count on my nose. What are you doing to me, kid? I call you up to the school, I get to run around, try to contact you at home, no dice. Let's come over here. Tell you the truth, Dollar. It's the work I'm doing after school that keeps me so tired of. Work? What's that? Well, I don't like the idea any more than you do. But what am I going to use for money? Money? Huh. Is that the only thing worrying you? What else is there for me to worry about? I've got good health, any ambition, and I've got you to love me. Anything I've got, baby, is yours for the asking. And to tell the truth, you don't even have to ask for it. Will that hold you for a couple of days, sugar? You're the sweetest daddy. I'm the last person to interfere in family affairs. Well, what kind of friend would I be to stand by and see your house burning down without telling you about it? Oh, out with it, Maud. We've had secrets before. Well, I'll make it short. You know Chick and my number. Mm -hmm. Well, he told me, knowing that I'm a friend of yours, he don't see why you don't know that Dollar Bill gambles every penny he can get his hands on. Either with the horses or the guts. He's the chippy chasing man that ever wore. He says that every penny that you have, he's going to find some way to dip you out of it. He says that... He's set enough to get himself thrown into sink things with slander. My dear, don't you know these nickel and dime chisels are always jealous of the man who can go out and make a decent living? My dollar has brains, and I give him credit. And I happen to know that he's in the grocery business, uh, uh, vegetables and stuff. All right, sister. I did my duty, and I hope I'm wrong for your sake. Oh, I appreciate your telling me what you hear, more. But don't let scandal worry you. I ain't gonna let it touch me. That must be wrong. It's me and him against the world. That's how it is, Mom. The emergency in our economic life. Not politics tonight, Bob. All right, no politics. And I don't feel like swinging you tonight. Okay, no swing then. Now, Mama, don't allow the matter of $69 to be certain. 
If you haven't got it, you haven't got it, and that's bad. That's not all. You're my little girl now. And how do you think it would sound people going around talking about Donald's girl got kicked out of school on account of that small change? But I haven't got them as many. Please don't worry, Mom. Won't the little lady? I think you know, too. Mother, I don't want his money, and please don't make him take it. The little girl is having a hard time learning what belongs to you belongs to me, and vice versa. It's mighty hard with me if you don't finish school like I dreamed you would. After all, Sue, this money is as much your mother's as it is mine. It's a little interest on an investment we made. And I don't want you ever to feel bad taking money from me. Oh, my God, dear. Then Mama wishes that I'll take your money and won't pay back. There, now. The Lord knows I'll be a happy soul when you two decide to bear the hatchet and be more loving. I do the best I can. I know you do, dear. But it's soon. Excuse me. You're letting yourself in for a lot of grief, brother. You know these big-time rackets pay a lot of money for protection. And, and they get it, too. Don't tell me of the power of the rackets, will you? I can refute all your arguments. Oh, I know the federal boys will get them in the end, but they can cross up a lot of people before they're caught. I'm walking into this with my eyes wide open. To me, it's just a gang whose last stand. When they speak to children, hard-working, poor-colored people, they're stepping on my toes. Oh, if only the organization would go with me, everything will be all right. Oh, they're with you, all right. It's the first time in the history of Harlem they've ever been with anybody so unanimous. All of you is with us, and they'll follow us. Good. The first time we show a solid front demanding our just desserts, protesting against injustice, the first time we sacrifice personal things for the progress of the whole, then we will see a new day. Not only for us Negroes here in Harlem, but everywhere. <laughs> I must remind you to incorporate that new matter. And that was an inspiration, Father. Oh, I'm a good man. Now, Pat, all you have to do is to pass the word along with the banners and let it be picked up at the Liberty Painting Shop. Know where that is? Yes, I know. We have some dance cards printed there. Let's see now. What else did Bob ask us to do? Oh, nothing. Just lobby around a bit and pick up the unanimous vote like all the other organizations. Oh, uh, I have to meet Bob right after Sunday school. Now, how soon do you think all the girls will be there? Well, I said four o'clock. That means five. Not for everybody. To me, four o'clock means four o'clock. That speaks of all of the Negro. <laughs> I hope you're right. My experience with girls of any color is that it's always smart to be late. Oh, but I hope they don't keep operating because it makes them scratchy. I'm down in the first too. This is that good thing. Well, that's a little milky ice box. Mix yourself a high ball. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, Jackie. Let's face the ice box. I'll get to bring you both of you, Jackie. Hello, Mr. Richard. Down up here with you, Alice. Don't be so far. Say, I couldn't explain that basketball game you played with the New Jersey Dead. And believe me, your form was terrific. Oh, you like basketball? <laughs> what a form. You should have played in the big leagues with that form. You were dynamite. Thank you. I didn't enjoy the day. And to show you how much I enjoyed it, I'm going to throw a party for just us two. What do you say? I have to have a boyfriend who wouldn't appreciate the idea of both going to parties, but just us two. Come on, don't be so old fashioned. I'm not old fashioned, Mr. Dollar Bill. Their ethics involved, if you follow me. Follow you? That's the best thing I could do. You'll have to excuse me now. Jackie's waiting. I've got to be going. Well, it's the day there's time to feel like using it. Just wait until Bob sees you in this dress. His heart's going to do a home run right up to his Adam's apple. <laughs> Business, I haven't got time to think. 
Gotta be careful what you say so you won't be sorry. Shut up. Donna! Quit moaning on me, will you? We are no radicals. We have no axe to grind politically. We're not picketing for any favors or privileges. We're not stump seeking against anything or anyone who lives within the law. But when a thing vitally concerns us, and does this good advantage being taken of Holland Devil, when our shopkeepers are forced to pay racketeers for the privilege of operating legal businesses, when law-abiding citizens in our group are intimidated by hoodlums, then it is time for us to put forth a united effort to stamp it out. Bob, the girls and myself want you to know that we're all in accord with your sentiments. It does my heart a lot of good here to see you respond so readily. But I must warn you, it's a nasty job you're stepping into. Not exactly in line with your pink tees and coming out for It's going to mean contact with people whom you've only read about. So if there's anyone afraid of realism, this is the time to back out. lesson for the rest, then politely go around to the others and collect the money. But we feel kind of personally, uh... Who's asking for your personal feelings? You want to know something? Have a guy with me who figures you ain't so dumb after all. He figures you just worked out a system to cover yourself. I hope he's wrong, for your sake. Yeah, but boss, look, uh, hey, boss. He's just itching for a chance to cut me down. After I sent out and map out a campaign for him to take in a hundred dollars a day haul, then nurse it along until it gets to five hundred dollars a day. Yes, I'm all over the place. Stand by and see him pull raids on my own people. Now he wants to murder. I tell you, he's after me. Well, what are you going to do? Man, why don't you tell them old fellas where to get off at? Yeah, and pick up your head in the Harlem River. Ah, oh, that's the trouble. You can't make good with those guys, but I'm going to make good. I'm going to make good for Dollar Bill. Harlem is my meat anyhow. I'm going to put the heat on those chisels. I'll show them who's running this territory. No, you're right. That's yeah, the way to go, right. man. Well, what is that to do? You work all day and all night. And when the end of the week comes, get up the hole. You let these guys come in without fighting and take away your hard earned money. I'm tired of working for something. I ain't going to do it no more. Listen to me all of y'all. It's all right for Tomatoes to stand up there and shoot off his mouth, but what chances we got with these guys? We can fight back. We outnumbered them anyway. It ought to be some effort for poor folks. What about the police? They're always too late to do your head any good. You is right. It ain't as if we only fight these small time burglars up here, but they got powerful white folks backing them up. I tell you, you ain't got a chance. Either pay up or get out of business. I said, keep on paying and you'll starve to death. Because you want to get somebody killed? Well, what are we going to do about it? Let me give you a chance. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Bob. Listen to me. Don't pay any more shakedown money to these rats. 
Take a good look at the man who demands it of you. Stand by your guns and show these people that they can take advantage of you. We'll do the rest. Listen, mister, whoever you is, I found out a long time ago that a half a loaf is better than none at all. I also found out that it's useless to argue with a guy who's got a gun in his stomach. And unless you and your organization can keep them guys from coming around to collect, I don't see how we can help ourselves. There's laws in this country after all. They can't kill everybody. That's right. Yes, brother, but I'm thinking of me. I ain't no market. Yes, you are. You are sacrificing yourself and all the others through your college. You're helping these criminals in their crime against society. There'll be someone of this organization in your place of business who will be able to testify against these people. These small lieutenants of ours will save you the risk. All you've got to do is cooperate. between you and your daughter, Minnie. She's hot-headed, but she's your own flesh and blood. Don't you stand up for her. She isn't worth it. You hasty, Minnie. Sue, let her go. I might have known I couldn't trust another woman around you, darling. Never mind, dear. You come into the room and lie down. And after you've rested a while, 
We'll thrash this whole thing out. Won't we, girl? Of course we will. Meanwhile, I'll run you back. And I'll get us some hot milk. If it makes you feel any better to cry, cry, child.
Memphis is going to put that squeeze play on me. The Mason gang rubbed him out. What do you think of that? Uh, that leaves you in control of the weight, huh? And uh, that makes you the ball. Not so fast. Here comes the cat. You're right. The cat. Another guy. Barone. You ever hear of him? Uh, Detroit big shot. That's right. He's from Detroit. He's inherited this territory. Oh, Harlem is getting to be a regular freebie, ain't it? It has been, but it won't be anymore. Before those guys can find a way around, Dollar Bill is going to be the biggest man in these parts. And muscling in, he's going to meet with severe punishment. I sure like the way you talk, Dollar. It makes us all feel more like men. It's bad enough when we have to push these guys around to get results. But when some bozo comes all the way from Detroit to crack the whip, not so good. Is what's in slick. <laughs> this is my territory, and I'm going to run it. I've started already. I sent a couple of the boys from Newark down to take care of that Jamaican fool who's been making stump speeches against me. I had to make an example out of somebody. <laughs> so I picked him out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Look at me, home. Do you think a man that works the way I do has got any right living in such a place? I work all day and night and see what to hand over the profit to guys like Hono. And there's no justice in this country. Listen, Jamaica, we didn't come for no summit. We want that dough and we want it now. Quit stalling and get the dough. But I don't got no dough. Oh, so you're going to make it hard on yourself. Ain't George hired coming here for stealing from poor people. Ain't George hired and persecuting my poor husband. Listen, you. Keep your flat nose out of this before I kick you. <laughs> time you try to get up. Get out of town, you guys. You bowl everything up. Pick you up in Newark, softy. When we get in a spot, we get out of it. And we don't care how. And don't forget that dough. Those guys left Jamaica's wife in a bad shape. This is an awful mess. Gee. You say something? Shut up. Oh, excuse me. And Marone don't like the way you operate. No, the boss don't like you. I never even seen the boss. Why shouldn't he like you? Your reputation for being a straight shooter ain't so hot. What do you mean? I'm an all right guy. Didn't the other big shot tell you about me? That's just the trouble. You did. We've been following you around long enough to know that you spend it faster than you get it. And somebody's got to be cheated. If that's the case, we ain't the one, see? Be reasonable, fellas. What have you got on me? Nothing. But the boss wants 15 grand, he says, it's owed for him from this racket, and you're responsible. You tell your head man this was wrong. And whatever dollar bill takes him from now on is his own business, see? That's what we call a double cross, fellas. We ain't kidding. You need to pay for start praying. What's the matter, Daddy? Something wrong? Oh, just some friends of mine paid me a visit. We're no friends of his. And this ain't no visit. It's a stick-up. They want $15,000. What are you going to do? Oh, I'll take care of it. You'll take care of nothing. No! Are you hurt? I'm sure I heard shot down in the bathroom washing my hands. He was like scared to shock me to death. Sound like a gun battle. A couple of burglars were in the house. We came home and surprised them. They started shooting and shot him. They didn't get you, honey. Please take care of yourself, will you? Did you call the police? No. Police won't do her no good. She's been shot. Well, don't you know you always call the police anyhow? Where is the patient? No, she wouldn't last through the ride. Baby, you give away clothes every day. I 
know you say you got plenty. You've a fortune in kisses. You can teach me what this is. I'm jealous of your lovely self. I you know you were dear. It's bad enough to get sick and die. But to have your life stuffed out like that. All the nice people get it in their neck. Yep, must be destiny. I'm the fella who misses your tender lips. No honey, just save the kiss for me. Oh, baby, save the kiss for me.
Let's go in and hear the thing. Singing?
Well, there's nothing we can do here. Let's go over to Maud and see what she has. Yes, let's get her here. Everywhere I look, I can see that man. He's poisoned every corner in this room. Don't you, Tom? Yes. There's so much to be done here. It's fairly screaming for leadership. 